Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'll just be cleaning my kitchen. Hopefully this will motivate you guys to get up and do a bit of cleaning in the spare the sp <laughs> in the spaces of your home that need a little bit more attention because it's very easy for us to get off track now that we're all in quarantine. And speaking of the quarantine, there's a bunch of information um, that I can see online, especially information that people are sending me on my WhatsApp or my Facebook or my Instagram um, pertaining to different conspiracy theories um, that I guess people are feeding into. But I just wanted to say personally, um, a lot of the things that we're being told, um, we don't really know what to really believe because the media is telling us one thing, the government's saying one thing, and then everybody kind of throws in their speculations and theories and opinions in the mix and it can be very confusing. So what I'm doing personally is doing my own bit of research, trying to figure out um, the truth, if I could even find the truth. So I would definitely recommend that you guys also try to practice that as well. So I know like one theory is that 5G is actually the reason for all these people that are falling sick and getting ill. Um, and then the other theory is that um, basically the COVID-19 is just a way for the government to cover up all the stuff that's that, that they're secretly doing or whatever. All that information, I don't know if it's true, but I really don't want to buy into it because I like to make sure that I'm thinking for myself, like getting the information um that uh, i see going around but also kind of interpreting it for myself because the last thing i want to do is share any information with people that are incorrect so if there's anything that you guys get or you know just anything that doesn't make sense um i wouldn't suggest sharing the information around because it just creates more panic and more confusion and more chaos so I would just suggest like really sitting down, actually doing research for yourself and making your own theory instead of like buying into all the stuff um, that seemed to be going around. Um, but anyways, my city that I'm currently in, um, we're in complete lockdown for a while now. This is the fourth week of quarantine for us. So I've pretty much gotten into the hang of the day to day things that I want to get done and the different mood that I want to set. Um, in my household with my husband um, but it's just crazy that there's still a lot of people who are still uh, going to parks and you know public places social gatherings and traveling in large numbers and not really listening to what uh, what's being told so I don't know if maybe they don't believe that there's a, a illness going around or that there's something happening um, that, that they need to stay home and be safe and try to help the greater good um, it's just crazy that people are finding it hard to comply to what's being expected um, of them.
as of now, the government have created a bunch of bylaws that we all have to abide by, um, and there's like fines that people have to pay. I think it starts at like 750, going up to about 100,000. So individuals can be charged that as well as given one year um, jail time, as well as uh, any businesses that are still open um, and not complying with the bylaw. So, you know, just being open regardless of the information or the, the legal aspects of what's happening. So they're also being fined as well. So, you know, just for the greater good of everyone it's, and for your own self and your family, it's just better to, um, like, fall in line, follow what's being told and stuff like that. Um, but again, even with that, like, don't, I'm not saying to become sheeples, as people like to say, people who are acting like sheep. So just following without thinking on their own. I'm just saying taking the information that's being given to you, practice safety, but also um, do your own research and try to figure out what's happening for your own self as well. So it's like a complicated situation that we're all in where we need to follow what's being told, but we also need to make sure that we are, you know, following our own beliefs as well as this at the same time. So it's just a confusing time for people. It's, it's definitely confusing for me and i'm just trying to like cope with all the information and all the things that's happening around me and stuff like that but you guys can let me know in the comment section um what your experience is like what thoughts do you guys have about what's going on and really how are you coping um with this um just to try and get a conversation started other than that i think i'm gonna uh let you guys just finish this video and I will definitely check in with you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for your support and for sticking with me and I hope that you guys will like, comment and subscribe and I hope that you'll also be nice enough to share um, this video if you really enjoyed it as well and give it a thumbs up. So again, thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!